they say Oirase River, our next destination, is the most beautiful river valley in all of Japan. This river drains from the famous Lake Tawada and is a crystal clear piece of heaven. There's like a type of deer that looks like a goat that lives in these woods. And if we find one, I'll be, my life will be complete. The forest is breathtaking and the atmosphere is calm. A hike through these woods does not disappoint. Lining the forest are multiple waterfalls and rock formations. There's a snake. Kawaii. Scary. Wow, look at this. So nice. It's so magical. There's a lot of hikers and uh, tourists here seeing this place and I can't blame them because it's probably the most beautiful forest I've ever hiked through. So nice. The walk is like a whole day basically. So like each spot, you go like 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 20 minutes, and then eventually it ends at like the sea. Okay, so we're at Toshiotaki, which is one of the most famous waterfalls here on this trail. And you have to walk from the beginning all the way to here for 30 minutes. So it's a little bit of a walk, but you can see other things along the way. So it's really, really cool. It's a very strong waterfall. Um, and it's in such a beautiful place, beautiful forest. Just the sound of it is just like powerful. I once again use my planetized guidebook to soak up some information. You can plan your trip with the planetized guidebook and watch lots of videos and learn a lot of information about each place you want to go to. There are plenty more landmarks that I didn't cover, so if you're in the area, come and check it out. If you travel in the right direction, you should end up at Lake Tawada, one of the most gorgeous lakes I've ever laid eyes on, and the largest crater lake on the main island of Japan. We're at the most, one of the most abandoned towns. <laughs> and we're at Lake uh, Tawada. And there's a little cute little deck here. And some little shops that are kind of open. <laughs> Just a relaxing boardwalk, basically. Exploring further, I noticed you could take some sightseeing boats across the lake to enjoy the scenery. A road that stretches back through the woods symbolizes luck. You have to walk the entire road to gain more luck though. At the end of the boardwalk is a statue of two women touching. 
This statue not only symbolizes Tawada being a national park, but also tells a story of the artist's wife who was a model for this piece. Hey guys, we're at the Tawada Art Cent Center right now, and um, this is a place where they kind of lined all the art down the street um, in hopes that you know Tawada, the Tawada area, would have a lot more art and color and everything like that. So this was opened in 2008 and has been here for quite a while. And there's a lot of really interesting, strange, weird art uh, sculptures and pictures and everything that you can see and look at and um, I think it's a really fun place to be so uh, we're gonna look around and check it out and we'll see what, what else we can find. I have never been to such a strange interactive museum before and I love strange interactive museums. The art pieces each tell a story and are created by artists from all corners of the world. I was shocked to see some of the creations line the streets and cover the rooms and doors. Okay, let's go inside. Oh, it's ugly. <laughs> wow. My new car. <laughs> Walking into this weird balloon house, you could hear the house whispering to you in English, and it's so random. The art was crazy, from tall old women, look at her hand, it looks so real. I wonder what, what the inspiration was for this. To light up tunnels. To art that depicts life and death. Every inch of the museum has some piece of art, from the floors to the ceilings. Everything is covered with art. I wasn't able to film certain pieces of art, but I'll link the website below so you can see for yourself what I'm talking about. Oh, and don't forget to check out the cafe when you're finished looking at all the art. My trip to Aomori was a great adventure, and I loved every part of it. Please check out the Planetized Guidebook below and plan your trip today. It's free to plan your trip, but you can also take tours as well. You can choose from multiple videos to view and watch to see if you're actually interested in that part of Japan. So don't forget to check out that app, and if you have any questions about Aomori, please comment down below, and I'll see you guys in my next videos. Thanks for watching the whole thing. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time! Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and download the Planetized Guidebook for more information and book tours for these places today. Also, from now on, I'll be doing live shows on the Livestar app every Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday mornings here in Japan. It's free, so search Liz Kelly and chat with me about anything you'd like. I'm thinking it's going to be at 9 a.m. Japan time, so please check that out. Also, follow me on all my social media platforms for any announcements or updates. I launched my blog slash website, strawberriesarelife.com, so check out extras and information that didn't make it to this video. All this and more is linked below, and I'll see you guys in the next video.